Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be another tutorial using Design Spark Mechanical. Today I'm going to be showing how to use the Move Create Pattern feature as well as uh, some other features. And if you want to follow along, you can get the PDF file. Um, there's a link down in the video description and you can either download that or just open it up and uh, draw this right along with me and follow it all. And I'm trying to keep these video tutorials where it's easy for somebody to uh, just draw along with me and, and follow along so that they can learn this at a, at a slow pace. So let's take a look and see what the um, PDF looks like, what we're going to be drawing today. Here's what I'm going to be drawing up today. This is some kind of a bolt flange and I'm going to if you scroll down here, you can see this is the uh, drawing with the dimensions that I'm going to be using to create this. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got my Design Spark Mechanical open over here, and I've also got the little keyboard uh, gadget down here so that you can see what keys I'm pressing. You can see when I hold control, it'll light up, or if I hold the center button of the mouse or left mouse button or whatever, that'll light up so you can see what I'm doing. So let's go over here and open up file, new, design. And then I'm going to come down here and hit this icon, uh, I icon. That's the same as uh, hitting this plan view here. And then I'm going to try to keep this scooted over like this so you can, uh, uh, that won't be in the way of that keyboard. So... Uh, one last thing I need to do before I start drawing is I need to come down to Design Spark Options. The drawing I'm going to be uses, using today is in metric. So I want to come over here and change the units uh, from Imperial that I keep as my default and change that to metric. And that's all in millimeters now. So we'll click OK. And move this back over. Okay, the, if we take a look at the drawing, I can see that uh, this flange is kind of uh, needs, I guess, to start out, I'll draw a 100 millimeter circle right from the origin. So I'll come right here and hit the circle command, or you can type C if you're using keyboard shortcuts, and we'll draw this out, then tap the space bar and put in 100. I'll hit the Z to zoom extents and also scoot this back over. And when I pan this like this, what I, if you see the keyboard down there, I'm holding the shift key and the middle button of the mouse. And that's what I'm using to pan. You can also hit it from right up here if you want, but it's a little quicker if you just use the uh, shift key and the middle button on the mouse. Okay, so now as I look at this drawing, um, there's not a whole lot of dimensions on here, but there's enough to complete the drawing. So I'm going to draw with a construction line, and I'm going to come right here to the origin right in the center, and I'm going to come out here and come to the edge of this circle. And I know from the drawing that there is a 10 millimeter diameter hole right there at the intersection of uh, where the circle is and where this line crosses. So let's go here and hit the circle command again and come down to that point. Let me make sure I'm getting in there. And we'll start drawing and just tap the space bar and I'll put 10 millimeters. Now we've got our hole there. Again, we'll hit Z to zoom extents and I'll move this back over a little bit. All right, I can also see that it's showing a 10 millimeter radius loop going around this, uh, what's going to be a hole. So I'll hit the circle command, come right in there, start bringing this out, tap the space bar, and then put 20. And then we can hit select. And now I want to come up here to the trim away tool or the T if you're using keyboard shortcuts. And I can come here and just get rid of these the part of this that I don't need. So we'll get rid of that. Just like that. Okay, so now we've got one of our six bolt holes uh, around this little flange. And now what I'm going to use is I'm going to take 
hit select. And I'm just going to draw a box around here to highlight this circle and this little loop part. And what I want to do is come up here and hit the move key. And I don't want to move it from this spot. I want to grab this with the left mouse button and bring it to the origin right here. And then I also want to come over here in the lower left and you can see where it says create patterns. And I want to make sure that that box is checked. And then I want to come right here and grab this blue circle. And as I start bringing this around, I can hit the space bar. And instead of trying to figure out the degrees, I can just hit the tab key once, twice, three times, and it'll bring me back to the count. And I know that I want this in six places. So I can just type six, hit enter, and it is now drawn this all in uh, six holes at, I get back out here where I can see it. Oh, it's still wanting to uh, zoom in on that hole. Okay, here we go. So now I've got my six holes uh, 60 degrees apart, which six times six is 360. So that's how many degrees there are in a circle. So we know that's correct. All right, so now I'm going to come back up here to the trim away again, or the letter T, and we'll get rid of these lines here that are in the way here. Okay. Now we've got uh, most of our uh, bolt flange done. So next, as I look at the drawing, I can see that this line here, this horizontal line, which would be at zero, and I see the that first uh, oblong um, slot, I guess we'll call it, starts at 30 degrees up. So I'm going to come over here and hit a construction line, come right here and bring this up and as you see if you look right down there beside the uh, origin you can see when I hit 30 degrees it stops so I'll click that and then just to be sure I'll type in 30 and to make sure I was exactly on 30. Okay next as I look at that drawing I can see that the outside radius of that oval slot says that that's 40 millimeters and i also see that the uh, slot is showing that it's a radius of five millimeters so i know that means it's 10 millimeters wide so what i need to do is the 40 millimeters would actually be an 80 millimeter diameter circle and then if i want to find the center line of that oval slot i know that that's going to be uh, 70 millimeters because that's going to be halfway through the middle of that oval slot. So I'm going to hit my circle command here and I'm going to come down here to my origin and I'm going to start pulling this out and then I'll hit the space bar and I'm going to type 70 right there. Okay, so now I know the intersection right here is going to be where the first part of that slot starts. So I'm going to zoom in here so I can see this good because I've still got my snap on and I don't want to hit here. I, I'm, in fact, I think I'll just turn that snap off so that I can more easily hit the right spot right there. So now I'm going to hit that, pull that, start pulling that out and then tap the space bar. And I want that to be 10 millimeters. Okay. Now, I know that looking at my drawing that the other end of the uh, that oval slot comes up this way and it's 45 degrees from this line. So I'm going to hit my construction line again, come back down here to the origin, start working my way up. And I'm going to end up what I'm looking for is 75 degrees on that little um thing down there by the origin 
and that would be from the, the 30 degrees plus the 45. So that would equal 75. And again, just to be sure that it's exact, I'm going to hit tab twice to get to that and then put the 75 in there. Well, now I can come up here and hit my circle again or the letter C and come in here and make sure I'm hitting right at that intersection and start drawing my next circle. And that's going to, I'm going to hit the space bar and then put 10 millimeters. Now we've got the beginning and end of that first oval slot. Okay, so we'll hit select and then I can come up here and I can get rid of this uh, 70 millimeter circle. I don't need it any longer. And next, I know that the outside of this, it said it was a 40 millimeter radius. And this would, you know, with that being uh, 10 millimeters wide, that would make this a 60 millimeter radius. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and hit the circle. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to draw this and hit the space bar again. And I'm going to hit 80 millimeters there. And then I'll do one more start pulling it up and hit the space bar and put 60 millimeters there. Now I can come to these um, circles here and I can hit the trim away tool and I can get rid of this and this and then all the other parts of that, those big circles that I don't need anymore. And there we've got our first slot. So now we need to use that create pattern again to rotate that around. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit select and I'm going to highlight the lines of this oval slot and I'm going to hold control down so that I can hit all of it. And now that I've got that highlighted, I want to hit the move button again, or you can type the letter M. And now I need to move this back down to the origin. And then I also need to come over here and make sure that the create patterns is checked. So I've got that checked. Now I can grab this blue. And as I swing this around, I can hit the space bar. And I'm going to just hit tab three times until I get to where the count is. And I know I need three of those oval slots. So I put three. And when I put that, you can see that it even has the dimension there that they are 120 degrees apart, which would be correct because three times 120 is 360. So that would be our part right there. So now I'll hit select. Okay, next, before we move on and make this into a, um, solid part we want to put our dimensions on to double check ourselves and make sure that we have all this correct uh, what we can do here is we can hit from here over to here and you'll notice that that says a radius of 50 millimeter which that is correct but our drawing shows uh, a diameter it shows 100 millimeters diameter so what we can do is we can come over here to where this me uh, says, measurement says radial and we can click on that and drop this down and we can actually change that to diameter. And now if you look, that says 100 millimeters diameter on there. Next, we'll come up here and we'll hit these... Uh, two construction lines that we drew. There's our 30 degree angle. So that is correct. If we come over here and hit these two, we can see we've got, now let me try and I'm trying to keep this small enough that it's not in the way. There we go. Okay. Now we can also, let's see where, yeah, we can hit this hole right here. And that one is 10 millimeters. We can highlight this little loop out here and see that it is a 10 millimeter radius. And then we can also come up here to where this oval slot is and hit that and see that that's five millimeter radius for there. And I believe 
Okay, we got one more here we can hit because this one was on here to tell us the outside radius of that oval slot. So there's 40 millimeters. So that looks like we have it all correct. So now we can come over here and hit select, hit the 3D mode. And again, you see we've got some stuff in here we don't really need. So we can hold down the control key and highlight all of these areas inside these holes and slots that we don't really need any material in. And we can highlight all those and just hit delete and that'll get rid of those. Next, if we want to get the uh, dimensions out of the way, we can turn those off and we can also turn our construction lines off and we can come up here and hit the home to flip it up. I'll highlight this face here. We'll hit the pull button and we'll come over here and grab this arrow and just pull it up to, oh, I don't know. Let's do uh, 15 millimeters, I guess. I don't really know how thick this was in the drawing, but because they're basically just showing you how to do the sketch. But anyway, we'll make it 15 millimeters. Then we'll hit select and then we'll hit the plan view again. And there is our 3D model just like uh, just like the original PDF. All right, that's going to do it for this video. If you got anything out of this video, please leave it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, be sure and uh, subscribe and hit the little bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. And be sure and follow along. These are uh, you know meant to be little exercises for people to help learn Design Spark Mechanical. I think it's a great free software for 3D modeling and it's uh, useful for a lot of things. So if you're wanting to learn this, be sure and subscribe, hit the bell, make sure you get a notification and, uh, and then download the uh, PDFs and you can follow along as I draw these or you can draw it as many times as you want over and over, uh, even until you get to where you can draw it without watching the video. So Anyway, thank you all very much for watching, and until the next time, we'll see you later.